Okay guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a miniature cereal box. Just like that. Okay. And what I did was, the side of the actual Cheerios box, it came with four other Cheerios that they want you to buy. So I cut those out. If you have them cut out to the size that you want them to be, going to measure it on your little square that you did. So you need graph paper. You're going to trace it. Leave one graph line, trace another square, and then do a square completely around it, just like I did, right above it and right beside it. Once you've done that, then you're going to cut it out, and you're going to put it on top of a piece of cardboard. Now you can use the recycled cardboard that came on the box so that you're not wasting it. And you can pick the areas that you want. So like if you want it to cut it out, say for here, you would just put it where you want it and cut it. You need yourself a pair of good scissors for this because cardboard is kind of stiff. So now my cereal box will have that kind of cereal look on it if that's what I want. Okay, after you do that, then you're going to take your cereal cover, put it on top of it. You're going to need either an X-Acto knife or a razor knife. Make sure it's locked and you know what you're doing to use it so you don't cut yourself. Then you're going to lay it flat on the table and you're going to score it, not all the way through on each side of the cereal box. Then you're gonna leave your one spot space, move to the right, do the same thing again. And then you're gonna turn it sideways and you're gonna go all the way down on the top and the bottom. And my cereal box is not quite small enough for the one that I've already done. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so then once you do that, you can either use two-sided tape to attach this to this, or you could use your little Elmer's glue, put it on the back of it, and if you don't have Elmer's glue like this, you can use any liquid glue, it's just going to take longer to dry it. Now I want the Cheerios to show, so I'm going to leave it like that because I think that will just look good. Okay, and then I'm going to put it right where I just scored in between there. Okay, and then that's going to dry like that. And once that's dry, you're going to bend your score areas. Bend them completely around, all the way down. Now you're going to remove the center. You're not going to keep that. Take that piece out. On both the top and the bottom. This works better with scissors, by the way. So that your box should look like that. Now, these need to be individual working pieces. So you're not going to cut them completely out, but you are going to cut them to where they will fold separately. See how that doesn't fold? Because we didn't score it all the way through on there. But now that we've cut it, it does. What we're going to do is we're going to glue this together. You can actually take off this one corner too. You can glue the bottom of that together. If you don't want to use glue, you can always use tape. This one I taped. 
So then you want to glue that there. And you're going to put a little bit more glue here. You're going to tuck that underneath. Glue on this edge. That gets tucked underneath as well. Just like that. I'm going to cut that little insider off. Cut the wrong one off. Leave this one on and cut that one off. Okay, so once you have that, if you didn't cut this side off like I just did, you will have a working cereal box once it's dry. Now, you can make yourself a little shift um, funnel, makeshift funnel. Put it in your box, just like that, and you can fill it, Oop, maybe not quite like that because it just fell out of my hands, but you can fill it with your beads. And once you do that, you have it completely sound oriented. Okay, now you're going to take your cereal box and you're going to put glue on whichever side you want to be the top. I'm going to actually put glue back here because I want the front to be the top because I like it better. And then you're going to glue that shut. Once your box is completely glued together, you have a working cereal box. I'll give you a close-up of it. Okay, this is done with the tape. That is done with the glue. So, if you don't want the shininess, then don't tape it. You don't care about the shininess then you can tape it the tape will make it more durable if you're gonna have children to play with it um, just remember don't let kids play with anything that they are gonna eat so if you have a child that likes to mouth things you don't want them to touch that all right thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to watch or don't forget to follow dollhouse mentor madness and tutorials for more DIYs on Facebook like, subscribe, and let me know anything you might know to do anything like this and or something you're thinking about, and I'll try it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.